In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the Duplicate Pages and Posts module. That's part of the Pro Suite of modules for the Uncanny Learn Dash Toolkit. And this module is quite straightforward. You can see that there are no settings for this one. It's just a matter of turning it on. And then administrators have the option of cloning any Learn Dash content. So that, that would include post types for courses, lessons, topics, uh, quizzes. And it is very simple. There's just an option added to uh, tables for those post types when you go to edit them. Uh, and then also to the edit pages as well. It's quite similar to this very popular uh, WordPress plugin. In many cases, we have in the past used this one, but the shortcoming with using it was that it didn't properly support quizzes. The challenge with other plugins in LearnDash is that quizzes aren't copied properly. So the quiz objects themselves are copied, or the quiz post types, but the questions aren't duplicated. They stay mapped to both, and then users end up overwriting them, and it causes significant problems. So what I'm going to quickly demonstrate is how this would then show up in a course lesson or topic or quiz table. So you'd go in here and you can see the actions underneath and enabling the module adds this clone this lesson or clone this course or clone this topic etc option. So by clicking that it's going to take a copy of the post and create it as a draft. So you can see here it's created as a duplicate and then what we would go in and do is edit it. It's going to retain the content. You will want to modify the title, modify the URL or the permalink here, and change any associations. So make sure that um, the associated course and if it's a topic, the associated uh, lesson are set correctly for the cloned post. So you might want to use this if you're reusing very similar lessons or topics, um, or it's not, we, we still don't use it often for quizzes, it's just available in case you do need it. But it is helpful if you set up some things that are unique, or if you, in the case of quizzes, if you have a lot of questions that you're trying to reuse, but you don't want to import them, or there's something unique about the quiz that you want to retain, uh, this would support it. So if I were to publish that now, and I'm not going to, um, but if I were, then uh, I would have that duplicate available and it would retain the content of the original and I can just map it to uh, wherever it needs to be now. And then on the quiz side, if I go into a quiz, so again, what would normally happen is if you do copy or clone or duplicate a quiz with uh, one of the other WordPress plugins, it's just not going to retain the questions properly. It's going to look like it is, but then if you make changes to them, you'll find that the original is modified as well. So you can see here, there are some samples where they were cloned versions of quiz one. So if I do this to quiz two, where I clone that one, then you can see it's uh, an extra duplicate uh, multiple times. So again, it's created as a draft. You would then go in and edit it, make any changes that are needed, the questions at this point are unique to this quiz, so they can be changed without having to worry about any impact to the original that was cloned. So it would have retained any settings that were set up for the, um, the original quiz, but they can be modified here, and again, it's not going to impact anything that's already created. So for more information about this module, it's available on the Uncanny OWL website in the knowledge base for the pro modules. Thanks.